another jam-packed heat. This is looking like a heat we would normally see in the later rounds of an event, but QS 10,000, Vans US Open of Surfing, this is what we see in the first rounds. This is crazy. 27 minutes on the clock. These are 30-minute heats. Top two surfers will advance. We're going to start it with Jack Robinson going to a quick little layback cover-up. And he definitely has that... Uh, are looking for high performance surfing out here, so that's probably something else that played into it. Ducarmo. This guy's got a mean front side air on him. But he sticks to a more traditional snap floater combo. See right here, he is uh, kind of overlooking, de deciding which way to go. Hammering down on the nose of that board, makes the connection, but there's nothing for him on the inside. Nice little opening speed hack right there. I like the slice, then up into it. Projects out with the floater. A little late to the party on that last turn, so. Here we go, this is the 6.4 from Jack Robinson. Nice opening turn, straight up into the bowl. A little late right there, but just finding a flow, you know, and I want to point something out. He kicked out of that wave. He didn't grovel for that half a point more on the inside. I would like to, you know, argue the point that I think that was a good move. Here we go, DeCarmo. And I have to agree with you because think of, you know, judges are human. They like to see clean finishes to these waves. Hard, you're not going to get the scores you're looking for. Nice projection speed float and throws it straight up into the lip right there. So DeCarmo again, I don't think it's going to be like a huge score. A little late again to the party there. Up into the lead with that 4 6, and he's at it again. Now going to his backhand, which has proven lethal in past events. That wave right there, just kind of a medium insider, didn't offer much, so most likely he'll be standing with the 5.5 five and the 4.6. Start this heat, here we go, and on command, it is Killian Garland. Nice opening snap, always got that clean style for Killian Garland. We'll see if he can uh, find something of note on the inside, weaving it back towards the whitewater. Keeping the flow going, nothing too, no, nothing spastic to make this section, and this one's going to offer him a little combo. Away from that, he, nice first hit, a little bit of a fin release there, a little foam hit right there, and then comes around the corner, keeps the board flowing through the white water here, where he's going rail to rail, and he's trying to find and keep the speed, which he does. Then he gets a two for one on the inside, a quick hit, and then finishes strong. Yeah. I think yeah, that was cool. I, I thought that was a, a really well surfed wave. He kind, he would have come up with a much bigger score. Finn McGill, nice opening snap. Getting a big closeout turn. See Finn right there, opts out. We have to surf him. So less opportunity, a little bit more stress for the competitor. But as we saw Finn just a minute ago, he got that great wave. So his feet are in the wax. He's starting to feel the mojo. And uh, as we know from Finn, he's capable of big things. So we'll be rooting him and the rest of the competitors on for some big scores the rest of this heat and back to you guys. It was kind of like a coach. Who needs a coach for surfing? But it's working, so now everybody needs a coach. Well, Jack Rabo got a couple of nice turns in there and, you know, finish it off on the inside. And Finn, his 6.6, .6, nice opening turn, then finishes nice and strong too. So if you're going to get rolled, it is a lot of water. Uh, and now Kai Lenny takes the uh, ratings lead for the Big Wave World Tour after the Porto Escondido Challenge. Key and note on that is that it's, it came in in a bronze coefficient. Right. So here we go. There's, some, there's a replay of Jack Robinson. Nice hit up into the bowl right there. Another little sweep but can't complete. So that's just going to be a throwaway for Jack Robbo. He's going to get back out into the lineup. And here we go. Surfer in white, Kilgar. Killian Garland, pretty tentative approach right there. I don't like it. He needs to get off that wave and get started. He's going to have to open up a little bit. He looks a little nervous. Quick dig on that second bottom turn as well. Didn't, didn't, trying to will a wave to his son. Trevor. Trevor Robinson, a firefighter from Western Australia. And here goes Finn McGill. Beautiful opening snap. Bam, another big turn. Almost hung up in a washy section. And... Gets yeah. out of there, but not after decimating. Nice looking left-hander. That first turn, I really like the way he just 
Absolutely. No hesitation. Straight off the bottom, straight into the lip, and that's what we need more of. One Watch motion. This. Check this out. Right off the bottom. Bingo. Bam. And that's what we need. You know, that's the kind of confident surfing we're looking for. So he's gonna he's gonna put another good to excellent range on his one of the world's largest peanut galleries on the beach right now, gathering. David Ducarmo in third place, trying to get something going. Big layback snap. Pulls it cleanly. Now, we play the waiting game. Ducarmo. And he is going to lean more on the power and the speed than the flow. This is how he surfs. So, out the back, Jack Robinson. And that shows you how uh, bouncy wild that section right there can get on the inside of that pier bowl a lot of chops rolling up the face and again Finn McGill now finding his form big powerful backside hook let's see what Kilgar's got Killian Garland's gonna offer his back in nice snap right under the lip right there the styling going straight out of the closeout this is looking like a gem for Finn McGill. Nice opening snap, huge turn into this crazy section right into the pier. That, my friends, was dangerous surfing. The judges are gonna love it. Right behind him, David Ducarmo. We're into that G-Shock two minute warning. And Ducarmo now getting involved. A Couple nice turns and there's the Ducarmo claim we've been waiting for, we had to wait a full 23 minutes for it, but we got it. Replay for Finn. Watch Playing out. Tactics off the bottom. Bingo. Not wasting any time. A very shallow bottom turn to get himself up into the lip for the first one. The second one followed beautifully. And then DeCarmo right at the pier. He loves it. Look, the arms go up. Could not he can't help, help himself. It. No, you can't. And you have been that score from David DeCarmo that we're waiting for. And here goes Finn again. Does he have a ramp? He does. Goes to the air and falls from the sky. Not attached to his board, but the damage had been done. An 8-1-7 for Finn McGill's previous wave. We're yeah. Waiting for scores to come through. Did Ducarmo do enough? There's the horn. I Tense think he, moments for I Jack think Robinson. I, I, I would feel like it's a, it's a tough decision. You, have, you know, looking at the heat as a whole, Jack had some great waves, surfed a little sticky, but still got the performance done. There we go. So wow, from behind, David Ducarmo takes down Jack Robinson, knocking him into third place. Killian Garland in fourth. It's gonna be Finn McGill winning that heat in dominating fashion. Ducarmo just getting the nod at the end.